Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and another kind of day in the life vlog. I hope you are all doing very well. To kickstart this morning, I've just had a shower, done my makeup. I'm literally living in strapless like dresses and play suits at the moment because it's been really warm for the UK um, and I just find them a lot cooler. Um, so yeah, just started getting ready and I thought I would pick up the camera and start the vlog now because I want to give you an update on my hairbrush journey. So if you have watched my previous videos, about a month ago, I started my hairbrush journey for basically stronger, healthier, um, longer hair. Now, I've always had long hair. My hair always grows quite quickly, but as it gets longer, it tends to get thinner, um, weaker. So I was really interested to see what these products um, did for my hair. Now I am working with Hair Burst, but all my reviews and my thoughts are completely my own. I'm gonna give you my honest review. So I've been using them for a month and I thought I would just talk you through how I've been using them and how I have found them. Um, and then obviously we can carry on getting ready and I've got a few other things um, to show you. I went shopping yesterday, um, no intentions of picking anything up, so I didn't actually take the camera, um, but I did actually get some things, so I will show you those in a minute. But yeah, I just wanted to talk through this first while I was getting ready. So, um, I've been using the Hair Burst for Longer Stronger Hair, and this is the Shampoo and Conditioner, and this is the Avocado and Coconut. And this is for all hair types. So they do do different ones on their websites. They do ones for like dry hair. Um, yeah, there's lots of different options on there. I absolutely love the packaging. I just think it looks lovely. Love the colours of it. Always looks really nice in the side in the bathroom. Um, so what I do is I've been using this shampoo and I always shampoo twice. Um, yeah, it's just a thing that I've always done. I feel like that's like the thing, isn't it? Like if you go to the hairdresser, they always shampoo it twice. Um, I just find the first one kind of lifts any dirt or grease. And then obviously the second one just gives your hair a really good clean. So yeah, that's something that I've always done. Um, so this is the avocado and coconut. And honestly, guys, I absolutely love the smell of this. And I don't know why. It always makes me, yeah, it just reminds me of summer, holiday, so yeah, it's just always like kind of the, do you know like those good vibes that, yeah, absolutely love the smell of it. Um, so I shampoo with this twice and then afterwards I pop on the conditioner. So this is the one that goes with it. And then I tend to leave this on for not very long, probably like just under a minute. Um, yeah, leave for one to two minutes, rinse thoroughly. So I kind of put it on. Sometimes I just leave it and then um, wash it off after the minute. Sometimes I pop it on and then I get like a wide tooth comb and comb it through my hair. Um, but again, this smells amazing and it feels so nice um, on the hair. One thing I also have really liked is how well they last. Like I feel, I wash my hair quite often. I wash my hair every other day. So I find that I normally go through shampoo and conditioner, especially conditioners, really quickly. But actually, these bottles last me a whole month. So I've literally just finished. Um, there's a little bit, tiny bit left in each of these, and then they'll be done. And then I have um, a new a new pair to start. But they have literally lasted me the month. And I find you don't need much. Um, I find it goes a really long way. Um, yeah, really, really like these. And then the hair burst mask, so long and healthy hair mask. Again, this smells amazing, gives me those holiday summer vibes. Um, and I've been doing this probably about once a week. I'm not sure how often it says. Doesn't really say, I guess it's kind of personal preference, but I've been doing it once a week and I've been popping it on my hair, leaving it for around 10 minutes. Sometimes I've left it longer because I've popped it on and then kind of been doing things around the house. Again, it smells amazing, feels really nice and leaves my hair so soft. Um, so yeah, overall with these products, I have found that my hair 
feels healthier. So it's a lot more shiny. It feels a lot smoother. It just generally feels a lot healthier. Like when my hair, I literally haven't even brushed it since I got out of the shower yet. Um, I will do it in a minute. But like when I run my fingers through my hair, it just feels, I really don't know how to explain it. It just feels fuller, smoother, healthier. And I've had lots of people say how shiny my hair is how smooth and shiny it looks. I've had people at work. My mum's commented on how shiny my hair looks. Um, and that's really nice, isn't it? When you kind of feel it yourself, um, but then someone else says, oh, your hair looks so shiny and smooth. What are you using? Um, yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? Because then it shows that they are doing what they are meant to do because other people are noticing it also. Um, but yeah, so, so far I have been absolutely loving using this this month. And at the moment, I can't see me not using it because I am absolutely loving the products. They just feel really nice in my hair. Um, then this next is my favourite. Um, so this is the Volume and Growth Elixir. Obviously, this is in the same. So this is avocado and coconut. So again, it smells amazing. But this adds volume contains um, pea sprout extract, which has been shown to reduce hair loss, contribute to fuller looking hair, improves gloss, um, provides UV heat and pollution protection. And I absolutely love this. So I always, I will show you actually how I use it in a minute. So I brush and kind of towel dry my hair. Then I spray this on, I spray it all over, I spray it on the roots. And honestly, before using these products, my hair would always go flat to my scalp. No matter what I did, my hair was always straight and flat to my scalp. And this has definitely been doing what it says by adding volume. I feel like it really lifts my hair. Um, again, smells amazing. Obviously it's got the heat and UV protection, improved gloss. So obviously all these products together are making my hair look a lot glossier, healthier. Um, yeah, absolutely loving that product. And again, I feel like it's lasting really well. So I've just come, there's a tiny little bit left in this one. Um, and then I'm gonna start on my next bottle. But yeah, absolutely loving that. And then of course the gummies. So these are the chewable hair vitamins. I actually need to take two right now. And these are just chewable. If I can get them out. Literally right at the end now, I've got two more days worth in here. So these are the chewable hair gummies. So these are start your hair journey with hair burst today and fall in love with your hair. Hair burst chewable hair vitamins are an easy way to ensure you are taking the essential vitamins to maintain natural hair growth. So yeah, I literally take two of these a day. They're literally just these chewy gummies, little hearts. Um, and I literally just take these in the morning. They taste amazing. I think they're strawberry flavour. Yeah, strawberry and blackcurrant. And you literally just chew them. Like I said, I've got two more days in there. And then I have got a um, refill of all of these to do next month. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my gummies. So yeah, that is all the products I've been using. And like I've said, I have really noticed a difference in my hair this last month. Obviously it has only been a month and I'm gonna try this out for three months to see kind of what the overall results are. Cause obviously things do take time, but I've definitely noticed my hair has been a lot glossier, feels a lot healthier, nicer. Um, so yeah, I wanted to give you guys a little update of how I have found this first month using Hairburst. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to brush my hair and use the elixir. So I've washed my hair with the shampoo and conditioner. And honestly, my hair just feels so nice. Put my part in, I'm going to have to look in the mirror for that. <laughs> But even like brushing my hair now after washing it, like I've literally just washed it within a towel and then I took the towel out. Like, yeah, it just doesn't feel as tangled. 
um, just feels really nice. I've also noticed that my hair hasn't been molting as much. Um, I don't know if that's to do with the products that I've been using, but yeah, I used to have so much hair. I should noticing it on like the laminate flooring or in the plug hole. And I would say it's definitely reduced. I don't have anywhere near as much. Um, like even when I brush my hair, I used to be able to like pull loads out after. And I don't have that now. So I'm just gonna use this. Probably gonna end up using the rest of the bottle. Um, and I literally just spray it over. And then I also spray it to get to some of those roots. Just give it like a, honestly, it smells incredible. Absolutely love this product. And obviously, because we've had the really sunny weather in the UK, it's been perfect to having this heat protection. I am also heading to Greece. Um, I think we've got, what have we got now? Under two weeks now. I think it's about a week and a half um, till I go. And I will be taking all these products with me. And I just think that like, this is going to be so lovely, especially in the heat. It's going to protect my hair. So, yeah, I just spray all that on. Just kind of, yeah, just feels so lovely. And my hair just used to go so flat and it honestly really makes a difference. So I'm going to blow dry my hair now. I'll put you on time lapse because obviously it will take a while. Um, and then I will show you my hair after. So I've literally just finished blow drying my hair. Uh, I don't know if you'll see it on camera, but it just feels so smooth and shiny. Feels, yeah. I don't know if it, you'll pick it up on camera. And I just feel like I've got a lot more like movement and body to it because it literally just used to be like stuck to my head. Um, yeah, and I've always, like I said, I've always had long hair, but it does definitely feel healthier and like thicker to run my fingers through. Yeah, really impressed with it so far. Like I said, I will continue using it and give you another update after another month of use. Um, but so far, I'm really impressed with it. Feels really nice on my hair. My hair definitely feels healthier. Um, I will insert actually a picture of when, before I first started um, and then obviously you can see what it's like now i may also take a picture obviously it's not going to be like massive major changes because it's only been a month but yeah even to like run my finger through it just feels so smooth feels a lot stronger and it definitely does feel thicker um yeah so really impressed so far and like i said i'm going to continue using it what i will do is in the description box i will put a link to their website they have also given me a discount code for you guys if you are interested in placing an order. I will pop that on the screen now and I will also put that in the description box. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you a little update on that because I'm really impressed so far um, with the products. Um, yeah, so I'm now going to go downstairs um, and I will show you what I picked up yesterday actually from the shops. It's another beautifully sunny day outside. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. Um, and then I'm gonna show you what I picked up yesterday, actually. I went to um, a retail park near me and I wasn't gonna vlog anything because I was just gonna go and have a little mooch around. Um, but I got there and obviously they had sales on, it was super busy. So I wouldn't have really been able to video anything anyway. Um, I went in the Marks and Spencers, the River Island, New Look, Next and Asda. Um, but yeah, Mark Spencer's had all their sales stuff and I did pick up a few things, a few things for Leo's birthday, um, some books. So yeah, I'll show you, but I'm just gonna make myself a cup of tea first. So yeah, I picked up a few things in Asda. And I actually picked up some, a present actually for my niece in Next, which I'll show you. I've also had a H&M um, parcel delivered and a New Look. Um, so you may have seen the hauls of one of these before this video. Um, if not, they will be coming after. I'm not sure what order I'm going to pop them up in. 
Um, but yeah, I'll show you all that in a minute um, once I made my cup of tea. Okay, so let's go through what I picked up. It's just loads of kind of random bits. Like I said, I had, didn't really have any intention of picking much up. I wanted to go and get the next book in the series that I'm reading, some wrapping paper. Um, but then I did end up getting a few more things. So I thought I would show you. So maybe let's start with, let's start with Asda with the book. So I've mentioned this book so many times on my channel. I was umming and ahhing about reading it. Um, I asked you guys if any of you had read it and recommended it, but I kept seeing it everywhere. Um, so I finally picked it up. It's not a genre that I would normally read, but oh my gosh, I have absolutely loved it. So I literally have read this book um, within, when did I start reading it? Monday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So three days, I have literally read this book. I've not wanted to put it down. It has been, yeah so so good so much better than i could have expected especially because like i said it's not a genre i would normally go for um but i have just loved it and it's been so nice because i've had this time um to kind of where i've been off work and i've been in the house more i've had more time to just relax um leo's been at his dad's um and obviously i've mentioned it before i've really missed him and being in the house by yourself is really, really strange when you're used to having someone kind of around all the time. Um, and it's always really quiet without him. Um, but it's been so nice actually having something to kind of just sit and read rather than kind of just pottering around doing bits in the house. It's been nice to actually have the time where rather than just kind of cleaning the house or sorting it out, obviously I have done those things while he's not been here as well. But I've taken time each day to just sit, yeah, and just read. Um, and it's been so lovely. I've sat in the garden, in the shade. It's just been so peaceful. Um, yeah, and I've really gotten into it. And I haven't read a book for a while, probably since last summer. Um, but yeah, I just feel like I've really got that kind of um, love for reading back, um, which is really nice. And yeah, I just feel like it's been a bit of me time the last couple of days to sit and read this book. So um, I went into Asda um, and picked up. So this one I ended up getting, I think, in Sainsbury's in the end because Asda didn't have it. But I knew that Asda do an offer. I think it's two for nine pounds. So I went into there to get the next book. And then obviously because they have the offer, I picked up two. So I picked up... Um, so the first one was A Court of Thorns and Roses. Um, and then the next one is A Court of Mist and Fury. Um, and I actually started reading this um, last night. So I'm up to chapter five. I read a little bit before bed. This is a much thicker book, so I think this is going to take me a little bit longer. Um, but I am heading off on holiday soon, so I thought it's perfect. I can read it on the plane. Leo normally always falls asleep on the plane. We have literally, I think, in all the times that we have gone, we have gone every year since he's been born. And yeah, as soon as it's on the takeoff, like I literally would sit there, even when he was, when we first went and he was only like a few months old, on the takeoff, I don't know what it was about the motion, but it always sent him sleep. Um... So yeah, and then I thought as he got older, he would stop it. But even last year, as soon as we kind of the takeoff, he just went to sleep. Um, and I normally take all these things to kind of keep him entertained and keep him busy. And then he falls asleep and then I'm kind of sat there thinking, oh, like I didn't actually bring anything for myself. Um, obviously I have like my parents and the rest of the family is all going this time to talk to on there and have drinks, etc. But I thought I will be able to take my book um and read it on the plane and then if i do get any time over there to read it i can um a lot of the time i will be in the water with leo because he is a water baby and absolutely loves it but yeah if i get time to i can read some more um and then i also picked up the one which will be after which is a court of wings and ruin again another really thick one so these ones are going to take me a little bit longer i absolutely love the colors of these though um so yeah i think there's so that's three and i think there's two more after that so this series is going to last me a little while um but yeah been really enjoying reading it um yeah just having that time 
to myself to kind of just sit and enjoy it. So yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, what else did I pick up in Asda? Oh, in Asda I just picked up some gift bags and a birthday card. So I picked up this cute birthday card for my niece, it just says birthday girl. I thought that was really pretty, quite simple, um, but really nice. And then I picked up some gift bags. So I've got this quite simple one, which is gonna be for, if you watched my previous video, I picked up a few little baby girl dresses for my friends in Greece. So this is just a very simple bag to put those in. And then picked up a bag for my niece's present. And I thought this was quite cute. So it's got a unicorn on, and then it's got the blank bit here today, and you can stick on the age. Um, so I st can stick her age on there. So that was that. So that was everything in Asda. And like I said, it's just loads of like kind of random bits that I needed. Um, I then went into Card Factory. So I wanted some Jurassic World um, like dinosaur wrapping paper for Leo's presents because he's asked for a lot of Jurassic World Lego. Um, and he's just, he's always been into dinosaurs. My house, honestly, I have so many dinosaurs in this house. Um, then he kind of, not kind of went off them, but wasn't as kind of into them. Um, and he's really got back into Jurassic World. He's been watching all like the films and things on Netflix again. He wanted all the Jurassic World Lego, um, which is, I've got some of it on my table, you would have seen. So I wanted some Jurassic World wrapping paper. Now I looked on Amazon and Honestly, some of them were coming up at like 16 99 I thought, I'm not paying that for wrapping paper. Like, he's literally going to rip it off. Um, and that's going to be it. It's going to go into the recycling. So I had a look in Home Bargains, but they didn't really have anything like, even kind of anything dinosaur-y or um, like that. And then when I was over the retail park, I saw, I, f I always forget that they've got a card factory there. I was like, oh, I'm just going to pop in to see what wrapping paper they've got. Because they didn't really have much in Asda either. Um, and literally, as I walked in the door, I spotted this straight away. So this is actually Jurassic World Domination. So this is a three metre gift wrap. Um, and these were literally one twenty nine. I just, I honestly couldn't believe it. So I picked up three of those. Probably not going to need three, but... Yeah, I thought while I was there, I may as well pick up more because I can always keep it if I don't use it all. But yeah, 129 each. I thought that was really good. So I was really happy to find that. Oh, and I also picked up some more salad tape in there. This was just 99p for three rolls. Okay, so then I've got, so I've got something from Next, Marks and Spencer's and River Island. So let me show you this actually from River Island. So this is River Island Milan Body Mist. Now, my parents actually bought this, I think it was for my birthday last year. I think it was my birthday. Um, and I absolutely loved it. It smells so good. So it says, um, inspired by the glamour and elegance of Italy's iconic fashion capital, Milan is always in style. This forever classic boosts a modern edge, sweet and fruity, with a touch of warmth. Top notes of bergamot and peach blend with a hint of violet warmed on a bed of amber and vanilla. And it just smells amazing. Absolutely love it. Um, and I wanted it for holiday. Um, I just find the body mess is quite light, but you can still smell it. Um, and this was £8 in there. I'm actually going to put some on now. And I literally just spray it over. And honestly, it smells amazing. Absolutely love it. So I picked up that. I then went into, I'll show you what I've got from Next actually, because it's on top. So in Next, I picked up something for my niece's birthday. And they are all coming to Greece with us. Um, so I actually picked her up this dress. I thought this was beautiful. And I thought the blue colour was perfect for Greece. It's going to be hard to show you actually because it's not on a hanger. But it's this like one shouldered and then you've got like the strappy bit here dress. And it's beautiful blue and white um, with the frill top. So it's kind of like this. And I just thought it was really pretty and I thought it would look really nice for her to wear on holiday. It's also a really nice cool quite thin material it's just stretchy 
Um, so this one was £15. Um, but yeah, so I just thought that was really nice. And then to go with it, I picked her up this necklace, which was £6. Um, it does say September birthstone, looks like sapphire. But I purely just bought it because I thought the star with the blue kind of gem would look really nice. Paired with the dress. I thought that would look lovely on holiday. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was really cute. So hopefully she will like it. Um, so that was what I picked up in next. I then went into Marks and Spencers. Now Marks and Spencers had their sale on um, and I actually saw quite a few things in the sale. So if you watch my previous videos, I bought a pair of white shorts with like um, an olivey green um, vest kind of top. And those shorts are in there now in the sale and I think they were like 16 pounds. And they had so many lovely other bits in there um like i said i didn't video anything because it was super busy all around the sale bit there was just people everywhere but i managed to pick up some of you might remember these because i have actually tried them on before in the store so these are the paper bag waist shorts with the belts um yeah paper bag shorts pick these up in a size 16 now, these were originally £32.50. Um, and these were reduced to £15. Um, and I absolutely loved them on when I tried them before. was going to buy them. And I thought, you know what, £32.50 is a lot. Like, I've got quite a lot of shorts. Um, but I saw them in the sale and I thought, you know what, I cannot resist them. So I picked up those. And then to go with them, I picked up this vest, um, which I've also tried before, but with a different skirt. Um, and it's this red one-shouldered vest. Now, I tried this in an 18 before, but they didn't have an 18. They only had a 16 and a 20, but 20 looked far too big. So I've picked up the 16 and I need to try it to see if it does fit. So this was originally £9.50. Um, so originally £9.50 but was in the sale for five pounds. Um, and I just thought the red with the shorts was gonna be lovely. And it's an outfit that I can take on holiday. Um, yeah, I was really happy to find those shorts in the sale. And then I also picked up another vest because I just thought these were great value for five pounds. And I thought this could also be another outfit with the shorts because it's a different color. This time I picked it up in a size 18 because they didn't have a 16. They only had an 18 or 20. So I picked up an 18. So again, this was £9.50 reduced to £5. And it's in this green colour. Like I said, I need to try them on to see if the 16 fits. Hopefully it will because I absolutely love the colour. But I thought at least then out of the two, one of them will fit. Um, and then I can always, if one of them doesn't, I can always take it back. So they did say you get 14 days to return sale items um so yeah really happy to find those and then the last item that i picked up in marks and spencers was for leo and this is just their three pack regular fit short sleeve polo top stain resistant um for obviously back to school and these were 12 pounds i always pick up his school polo tops on there because i just find they wash really well um and yeah, they, like it says on there, stain resistant. I feel like everything does wash off really well. Um, so yeah, that was everything that I picked up. I have tried getting everything ready for um, back to school, even though it's early to think about it. Um, but obviously we are away in Greece for two weeks and then we come back, I think it's a week until we go back to school. So I've got some polo tops. I've ordered like his logo stuff that he needs in the next size, ordered like his school shoes and all that lot. So I am already that we can just enjoy the summer um, and I haven't got to worry about going out to the shops to get anything else about school. I've also ordered him, I can show you actually, his, got him a new lunch box and a water bottle. Let me go and grab them. 
yeah, I thought I would just show you actually the lunchbox and bottle that I picked up for him. Now the lunchbox is the same one that he actually had this year, but he loved it. So he said that he wanted it again. And obviously, yeah, they don't, they go a bit horrible, don't they, after a while. Um, and it's gone a bit kind of like out of shape. I've always washed it. I tend to put them in my mum's dishwasher. So I don't actually have a dishwasher myself, but ever so often, I'd always scrub it every night. But then every so often I'd go and put it in my mum's dishwasher to freshen it up a bit. Um, so I don't know if you can see it in here. It's just like this like gaming controller. Um, and then it's got like a long strap so you can put it over your shoulder. Has got a bottle compartment here. Um, but yeah, he absolutely loved it this year. So he wanted the same one. And I picked that up on Amazon. Um, but I did actually notice yesterday in Asda they got one very similar um, that was actually cheaper. I think the one in Asda was seven pound. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for this one from Amazon, but I know it was more than seven. Um, but yeah, that one. And then this year he had a bottle, same make as this from Amazon, um, which was a gaming one, but I thought I'd get him something a bit different. So it comes in this packaging. No idea how you pronounce this as azonics i think it's called um again just from amazon and it's this water bottle um so he had this this year but with like a gaming pattern on um and it lasted really well so it's got this rubber bottom on rubber bottom on which you can write the name on so i belong to and it actually stays really well on there um and then it's just like a sippy one so it's just got this football design on it but it tends to keep the water um colder for longer so i tend to fill it up pop it in the fridge and it stays nice and cool i can hear the straw on that actually moving around in there so you get two straws which is good because you can then obviously replace one and you get um the little cleaner for the straws but yeah literally metal in there and it tends to keep the water cooler for longer that back on so i will need to clean that out at some point before he uses it but yeah he loves them and you can just carry him along so that was that so that was everything that i picked up I'm not sure what i want to do now for the rest of the day i might read my book for a minute i think my mum my mum is actually off work today so i may go over and see it then um yeah so just come out, I'm going to pick up my Euros and there is a Costa next door to where I'm going. Um, so I may go and get a Costa as well. Um, so yeah, I'll take you with me. I ended up popping over to Matalan afterwards just for a quick look around and they had so many bits in already for autumn. So I took a few clips to share with you guys. So I am now at my parents' house. I'm gonna have dinner and just chill for the rest of the evening. So I am gonna end this video here. I really hope you have enjoyed watching. Please like, comment below, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye, everyone.